Stop waiting months. The earthworm method for quick leaf composting can really change the game for you. What if I told you that the pile of dry leaves sitting in your yard right now could be turned into fertile, almost soil-like compost in just a fraction of the usual time? Gardeners waste months, sometimes even years, waiting for organic matter to break down naturally. But with the right preparation and the help of earthworms, this process can be accelerated dramatically, giving you rich, living soil that your crops will thrive in. Every gardener knows the frustration. Dry leaves collected in autumn look abundant, but they're stubborn. Their waxy coating and low nitrogen content make them slow to decompose, sometimes taking over a year before they resemble anything close to compost. If added directly to beds, they can tie up nitrogen in the soil, robbing plants of essential nutrients. That's why simply piling leaves isn't enough. We need to outsmart nature by breaking the material down into a form earthworms can quickly consume. The fastest way to prepare leaves for decomposition is to grind them. A garden shredder reduces tough leaves, twigs, and plant stems into smaller particles that decompose faster. This creates a rough but usable mixture. However, grinding generates fine dust that can irritate your lungs. Always wear a respirator or protective mask. This isn't a suggestion. It's a necessity. Breathing in leaf dust causes sneezing, coughing, and irritation, which can easily derail your workday. Simply grinding leaves isn't enough. To accelerate decomposition, the material must be pre-treated. This is where fermentation comes in. After shredding, place the leaves into a container and soak them with a microbial starter solution. Here's the formula. Mix 5 liters of water with 200 milliliters of fermented plant juice, a homemade liquid starter created from fermented green grass or vegetable scraps. This activates the microbial life that begins softening and partially decomposing the shredded leaves. Allow the mixture to ferment for about 3 to 5 days, stirring daily. By the end, the leaves will be noticeably softer, partially broken down, and ready for further processing. After fermentation, go ahead and pass the mixture through the shredder again. This might seem a bit excessive, but honestly, the difference is remarkable. By grinding the softened, fermented material a second time, the particle size becomes even smaller, exposing more surface area to microbes and earthworms. This step alone can actually cut decomposition time by several weeks. Instead of working through tough leaf fragments, earthworms encounter a moist, crumbly mass that's both edible and easy to process. Now comes the biological powerhouse of this system. Earthworms. Unlike traditional composting that relies mainly on microbial activity, vermicomposting harnesses the digestive systems of earthworms to accelerate breakdown. Their bodies act like living bioreactors, consuming organic matter and excreting nutrient-rich castings that directly benefit crops. Choose a shaded location for your worm bed. Sunlight is actually harmful to both microbes and worms, drying out the material and bringing the whole process to a halt. If you're setting up outdoors, always cover the bed with a breathable tarp or straw to protect it. Spread a 10 to 15 centimeter layer of the prepared leaf mixture as the first bedding. This ensures the worms have an immediate food source, right from the start. To create a balanced diet for the worms, it's important to mix carbon-rich leaves with nitrogen-rich materials. Dry leaves alone won't sustain them. One effective addition is chicken manure blended with sawdust. However, this must be used carefully. If you're using dry chicken manure, first rehydrate it by mixing 1 kilogram of manure with 2 liters of water, allowing it to soak for several hours. Once rehydrated, blend it thoroughly with the fermented leaf mixture. This not only provides worms with a nitrogen-rich food source, but also balances the carbon-to-nitrogen ratio, preventing the bed from becoming too acidic. Once the bedding is prepared, it's time to introduce the earthworms. Gather a generous handful from an existing worm bin or source and gently place them onto the surface of the new bed. 
they will quickly burrow into the mixture to escape light, beginning their work almost immediately. The worm should never be exposed to direct sunlight. If the bed is outside, ensure it's shaded at all times. Moisture must also be maintained. The ideal consistency is that of a wrung-out sponge damp, but never waterlogged. The secret to keeping the process moving quickly is layering. As the worms consume the top layer, add new batches of shredded and fermented leaves mixed with rehydrated chicken manure. Each layer should not exceed 10 centimeters in depth. By layering rather than dumping large amounts at once, the worms can keep pace with the material and avoid suffocation. Within weeks, you'll begin to see the transformation. The bottom layers will no longer resemble leaves, but instead resemble dark, crumbly, almost soil-like humus. This is worm-casting-rich compost, one of the most valuable soil amendments a gardener can produce. What started as a pile of dry, stubborn leaves has now been transformed into fertile organic matter. The combination of mechanical grinding, microbial fermentation, and earthworm digestion creates a system that turns waste into a resource in record time. This humus can be added directly to raised beds, spread across crop rows, or even brewed into compost tea for liquid feeding. Unlike raw compost, worm-processed material is biologically active. Filled with beneficial microbes and nutrients in forms, plants can immediately absorb. Once the system is established, maintenance is straightforward. Keep the bed covered, prevent it from drying out, and continue adding fresh batches of prepared organic matter. Earthworm populations will naturally multiply, creating a self-sustaining cycle of decomposition and soil building. If temperatures drop, insulate the bed with straw or place it in a sheltered area. Cold slows worm activity, while excessive heat can kill them. Consistency is key. Turning stubborn organic matter into fertile soil doesn't need to take years. By shredding, fermenting, and reprocessing leaves before feeding them to earthworms, Gardeners can cut decomposition time dramatically while producing a superior soil amendment. This method doesn't just recycle waste. It builds soil health, boosts microbial life, and provides crops with exactly what they need to thrive. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, share it with fellow gardeners, and join us here at Soil and Crops Central for more proven techniques to grow healthier crops and build stronger soils.